is this? I am actually holding a kiwi chick. And even better than that, we're going to be able to go out to Motoro Island in the Hauraki Gulf and see him be released into the wild. We really didn't know simple questions or answers to simple questions, how many kiwi there were, what were, what were eating them, why were they disappearing, where did they live? And research revealed that, A, they were declining really rapidly, and the number one reason for that was chick survival, or lack of. So stoats, mostly, were predating young chicks to the point that only 5% were surviving in the wild. So BNZ Operation Nest Egg was born to help get chicks past that vulnerable stage of life and to increase their rate of survival. We're here at Auckland Zoo's Kiwi Incubation Room and Michelle's going to take us through the process of getting a kiwi egg hatched and ready for the wild. When the eggs come into us from the wild, we'll um, measure them and weigh them and then candle them so we'll shine a light against them to judge how old they are. The early stage eggs come into this incubator here. Now these ones are turned four times a day and they're also taken out for an hour cooling every day and what that actually does is simulate the male getting getting off the egg and going foraging for food. So the male actually does all the incubation for the North Island brown kiwi, but when we get to this stage, they're not actually taken out for cooling at all. And that's because as the kiwi chick gets closer to hatching, the male will actually sit tight and he won't actually get off the egg at all. Now, once they start to hatch, they come into one of these hatches, and that's just to make sure that they don't break any of the other eggs when they're hatching. It's quite violent when they're pushing themselves out of the egg. It can take up to four or five days to actually um, complete the hatching process. After they've hatched, they're pretty exhausted, so they basically just sleep a lot. And about after a week or so, they then come into one of these brooders over here. And how long do they stay in here for? For another two weeks. And we just want them to get to the hatch weight again. And once they reach that hatch weight, they can be released onto Motoora Island. Everybody from middle school, senior and juniors who like dealing with kiwi were put in the hats. And yeah. we were three lucky named people who came out from the hats. We did a project on them and um, we had a just gone raised money. I've I've done I uh, we us juniors made bumper stickers. Yeah. To go in back of our cars. The middle school um, got to go to Tafura Nui and do some planting and we also learnt heaps of facts doing studies. There's one finger and have a gentle touch. Kiwi Kare koe ere 